qualities of the sravaka, viz. morality, concentrations, wisdom, deliverance, knowledge, and vision of deliverance. By means of a single thought of sympathetic joy, the bodhisattva surpasses all these qualities. 3. Superiority of the bodhisattva over the other disciples. After the Buddhas come the bodhisattvas, and after the bodhisattvas come the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas. However, here the Prajnaparamita Sutra speaks of the bodhisattva who wishes to surpass the generosity, etc. of the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas. What is there to be astonished at in the fact that the bodhisattva surpasses the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas who are hierarchically lower than he is? Answer. It is not a matter here of comparing the merits of the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas, generosity, morality, etc. with the qualities of the bodhisattva. The bodhisattva surpasses them only by means of a mind of sympathetic joy. What more could be said when he himself is practicing the qualities that he is admiring in others? The sravaka and pratyekabuddha adepts are diligent and struggle to practice the qualities. The bodhisattva, on the other hand, is silent, but by his sympathetic joy and the strength of his wisdom, his merits surpass those of the former. He is like a foreman who uses only his knowledge and goes away after having given instructions, whereas the unskilled workman wearies himself using the axe. At the end of the day, when the work is examined and the wages are paid, the foreman gets three times as much as the workman. In the same way also, in wartime, the soldiers risk death but it is the general who wins the victory. Question. Since the mind of sympathetic joy surpasses generosity and morality, why do you speak only of the superiority of the bodhisattva's mind of without mentioning others' sympathetic joy? Answer. Worldly people in whom the afflictive emotions cover over the mind and who have not eliminated egotism are attached to the happiness of this world. How then would they surpass the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas? In the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas, the strong surpass the weak, but all remain at the sravaka stage. This is why, for them there is no question of the mind of sympathetic joy. Question. The qualities and attributes of the Sravakas and Pratyekabuddhas are very numerous. Why does the Prajnaparamitha mention only six here, generosity, morality, etc.? Among the Sravakas and Pratyekabuddhas, the strong surpass the weak, but all are at the stage of Sravaka. This is why there is no question in them of the thought of sympathetic joy. Answer. All the attributes of the Sravakas and Pratyekabuddhas are contained within those six. 1. To speak of generosity already presupposes the qualities faith, erudition, etc. Why? Because it is necessary to have heard in order to believe and it is necessary to have believed in order to give. This generosity is of two types. Material generosity and generosity of the Dharma. 2. Morality contains three kinds of morality. Morality of discipline morality of meditation and pure morality. 3. Concentration contains the concentrations of meditation, absorption, and liberation. 4. Wisdom contains the wisdom resulting from hearing, the wisdom resulting from reflecting and the wisdom resulting from meditation. 5. Deliverance contains two kinds of deliverance. Impure and pure. 6. The knowledge and the vision of deliverance contains the knowledge of the destruction of the impurities. When one knows that the impurities are destroyed, one attains deliverance with respect to the threefold world and one knows and sees this clearly. I have already spoken about the auxiliaries of enlightenment and the dharmas of the noble path. Finally, as for the qualities of the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas not turned toward nirvana, the sutra does not say here that the bodhisattva surpasses them because these qualities are too slim. Question. Surpassing means to take away by force. But here the bodhisattva is not struggling against the sravakas and pratyekabuddhas. Why is it said that he surpasses them? Answer. He surpasses them only in the sense that, by means of his wisdom, his skillful means and the strength of his mind, he obtains an increase of merit on a given point. Thus, in respect to a given flower, a person grasps only the color and the fragrance whereas the bee grasps the juice and makes honey out of it. In the same way also, 
in order to draw water, if the vessel is big, one gets a lot. If it is small, one gets only a little. By means of these comparisons, we can know that, by means of a mind of sympathetic joy associated with profound and keen wisdom, the bodhisattva surpasses all the qualities, generosity, etc. of the sravakas and pratyeka buddhas. The bodhisattvas surpass them in six things. For the first, generosity, see my explanations on the perfection of generosity where I defined this attribute of the sravakas and pratyeka buddhas. For the second, morality, see the chapter explaining the perfection of morality where I defined this attribute of the sravakas and pratyeka buddhas. For the other four, concentrations, wisdom, deliverance, the knowledge and vision of deliverance, see my explanations on the recollection of the Buddha where I defined these attributes of the sravakas and pratyeka buddhas. Second section surpassing the high concentrations of the sravakas. Sutra the Bodhisattva Mahasattva who wishes, by means of a mind of sympathetic joy, to surpass the meditations, absorptions and concentrations of liberation of all the Sravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas, must practice the perfection of wisdom. Sastra Surpassing the high concentrations of the Sravakas. Sutra The Bodhisattva Mahasattva who wishes to surpass the trances. Absorptions and concentrations of liberation of all the sravakas and pratyeka buddhas by means of a mind of sympathetic joy, must practice the perfection of wisdom. Sastra I Higher Concentrations 1. By meditations and absorptions, we mean the four trances and the nine successive absorptions. 2. By concentrations of liberation, we mean the eight liberations. The Three Gates of Deliverance The deliverance by means of wisdom, the twofold deliverance, the occasional deliverance, the non-occasional deliverance, the conditioned deliverance, the unconditioned deliverance, etc. The concentration with examination and with analysis The concentration without examination but with analysis only The concentration without either examination or analysis The concentration of emptiness the concentration of signlessness, the concentration of wishlessness and other concentrations of the same kind.